welcome back. I'm here at Bob Blueheart, and he's from the Old Fort Concho. And Bob, we have some fun activities to talk about for the month of February that you guys are going to be having. We do. Yeah. Uh, February is traditionally African American Heritage Month, so we have two major events for the month, one that we're producing and one that we're sort of a partner with. The first one actually is tomorrow night. It's a musical play at the Performing Arts Center called Cross That River. <laughs> and it's a play by a fellow from New York City of all places, all about black cowboys in the West. And this is a segue into something that a lot of folks don't know. Many of the cowboys in the American West were African American, some were Hispanic, some were women, some were kids. Yes, the John Wayne movie, The Cowboys, is actually sort of true. So this uh, film kind of pays homage to the uh, black cowboy, and it's a fitting uh, event for Black History Month. We're a co-sponsor at Fort Concho. It's at the Performing Arts Center tomorrow night at 8, and I believe tickets are still available. And then second, on our site, we are having our annual Buffalo Soldier Day, which is this coming Sunday, February 23. Um, take a guess, how many troops at Fort Concho are actually black in its historic time? <coughs> 50%. You're absolutely I, right. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Thank there you. you. Go. There you yes. go. And again, that's a fact that most folks don't understand. The fort was staffed by, built by, operated by, protected by black troops for uh, nearly 50% of the time over its 22-year history. So every year we pay tribute to that. Of course, we interpret Buffalo Soldiers all year long, but one day of the year we pick to highlight that. That'll be this Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. in our commissary building. Uh, the program is free and it'll be in several parts. There'll be, of course, always food and entertainment, which is good. Uh, there will be a talk by our curator, Corey Robinson, on some of the actual uniforms and equipment that the Buffalo Soldiers used. I mean, the real stuff. Not just the replica, the real stuff. And this is part of our McChristian collection that we picked up last year. One of the best collections of uniforms and equipment any place, and it's all ours. Uh, we'll also have a presentation by Jeremy Walker, who's the superintendent of our Fairmont Cemetery. He'll be speaking about the Buffalo Soldiers who were buried there. And then there'll be a video and maybe some special guests. So, again, free to all refreshments and two okay. to four on Sunday. And what about this uh, Baseball History Day? Oh, you got to love baseball. And it's a great time. Hopefully the weather will be as good as today and not as ungood as it will be on Wednesday. This will be Saturday the 29th, and we have sort of a corny hook. What's, what's February 29th? Oh, man, all these questions. It only comes once every four years. It's oh, leap year day. Year. Leap I was just going to say Yes. Ah. So we are yeah. leaping into baseball. Um, not us. We're not stealing any signs for you Astro fans. So it will be an uh, honest day of baseball uh, history, talks on the history of the game. I'll be doing something on minor league parks. Dr. Warren Simpson, my co-conspirator in this, will be speaking about uh, legends of Little League. Corey Robinson will join us with a vintage baseball game. And again, free to all snacks and refreshments in our classroom at the Living History Stables on Flipper Street. If the weather's good, we'll be out there hitting the ball just like they did in the 1870s. Well, that sounds like fun. Now, real fast, what about this Campfire Series Night? Tell me a little bit about that. Who among us doesn't have a great experience hearing stories, doing s'mores, and sitting by a campfire? And our educator, Sarah Ross, has created this. It'll be Thursday night, March 12th free to all um, bring your own marshmallows that we will provide and we will tell some scary and real stories about the fort in our courtyard at barracks five and six Ooh, and it should be nice and warm by that time too uh could be but as you well know in west texas anything can happen that is so true well thank you bob i thank appreciate you. you coming on and now here's our pet of the week